Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Chauri and today we will look at inter-process communication using Unix domain sockets. Why use Unix domain sockets? Why not use internet sockets with loopback address for localhost? The answer is that Unix domain sockets are faster and simpler to use. And we start by revisiting the socket system call. A socket is a communication endpoint used by a process. A process creates a socket with a socket system call. In case of Unix domain sockets, the first parameter is always AF Unix. The second parameter can be SOC stream for stream oriented sockets, SOC digram for datagram oriented sockets that preserve message boundaries. Unix domain datagram sockets are reliable and datagrams are not reordered. And then we have SOC SQQ packet which is sequence socket and is connection oriented, preserves message boundaries and delivers messages in the order they were sent. Socket address is normally an involved topic in network socket programming, but in case of Unix domain sockets, it is much simpler. The structure for specifying socket address in case of Unix domain socket is struct soc addr underscore un. The first member's son family is always af unix. The second member's son path is the path name of the socket in the file system. Its maximum size can be 107 bytes and it should be null terminated. As an example, let's look at a maintenance system for an apartment complex. It handles complaints like electric switch not working, water leakage in the kitchen, an electric socket not working, etc. The system has a complaint server which keeps track of all the maintenance complaints for the apartment complex. Then there are clients. A client can log a complaint with a complaint server or it can ask for an existing complaint so that the required repair work can be done. Once the repairs have been done, a client can mark a complaint as completed and the complaint server deletes that complaint. The complaint server and clients run on the same computer and communicate via Unix domain sockets. This is how the system looks like. Interestingly, socket communication is asymmetrical. If you use some other inter-process communication mechanism, say FIFO, the server and client make nearly the same calls. But for sockets, client and server calls are quite different or asymmetrical. The server makes these calls socket, bind, listen, accept and then read and write. The client makes the call socket, connect and then read and write. The server has a listening socket on which it listens for new connect requests. Once it accepts a connect request, a new socket is opened for data communication and the server and client communicate on that socket. This is the server code. The server has a Unix domain socket, complaint socket, slash tmp, slash complaint server dot socket. This socket is for listening for connect requests from clients. These are the commands from clients, log complaint, give me a complaint, give complaint for a particular apartment, resolve complaint and quit. The server responses are next complaint, no more complaints, no complaint for this apartment, complaint added and complaint deleted. We support a maximum of 200 clients and this is a structure for messages between the clients and the server and vice versa. It contains a message ID followed by, the, by an apartment ID and remarks. The server keeps all the complaints in a linked list and struct element is for an element of the linked list. The linked list is accessed via a pointer to its tail. Then we have structures for messages, RECV message for receiving messages from clients and send message is for sending messages to clients. And these are the function prototypes. We start with the main function. The tail pointer is initialized to null and we check if the complaint socket exists. If it exists, we unlink it and then create the listener's complaint socket. Next is the bind call which specifies that the complaint socket is a Unix domain socket that is its family is AF Unix and its path is slash tmp slash complaint server dot socket. After bind, 
the listen call marks it for listening for connect request now we have one listen socket and multiple sockets for data exchange with clients all the sockets are part of the set fds at the start we initialize the set fds and then we add listener socket file descriptor to the set fds in the while loop we copy set fds to the set read fds and we block using the select call for file descriptors in the set read fds that are ready for input when the select call returns some sockets are ready for reading by the process we examine all the ready sockets one by one if the socket is the listener socket it is a connect request from a new client and we accept that connect request with the accept system call and a new socket is created for further communication with the client if it is not the listener socket it must be an existing socket for communication with the client and we read the incoming messages from the client and respond accordingly the client message can be one of the commands for log complaint we add the complaint to the linked list if the client wants an existing complaint for repair work we send the next complaint to the client if the client wants a complaint for a particular apartment we send that complaint to the client if the client says resolve complaint we delete the complaint from the linked list and if the client quits we close the socket file descriptor and then we have function for adding complaint to the linked list deleting a complaint from the linked list giving next complaint to the client giving a complaint of a particular apartment to the client so this is the code for the server this is the code for the client these are the hash includes the socket name of the server is slash temp slash complaint server dot socket and the commands going from client to server and server messages the message struct is the same as that we saw in the server we make a socket and then we make the connect call the destination socket family is af unix and destination server socket name is slash temp slash complaint server dot socket once the connect is successful we get into a session with the server we take operator input which is one of the client commands record a new complaint that is log complaint get next complaint or give me a complaint get complaint for an apartment or clear complaint that is resolve an existing complaint we write to the socket and read the reply and we print the reply on the terminal we can compile the server and client programs gcc complaint server dot c minus o complaint server gcc complaint client dot c minus o complaint client and we run the server and client and we come to the end of this video you can find all this information at https colon double slash tinyurl.com slash unix hyphen sockets thanks very much for watching Take care and stay safe.